In this video, I'll show you how to restrict WooCommerce shipping by states in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download the conditional shipping and payments plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard and assuming you've downloaded the conditional shipping and payments plugin by WooSuite, the second step is to just go ahead and upload that plugin. So you'd go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload the WooSuite core plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Go ahead and click activate. Once you've done so, then you wanna go ahead and click on add-ons. And then from here, we'll scroll down to where it says um, conditional shipping and payments or dynamic shipping and payments. In your case, you'll just go ahead and click install here and then just go ahead and toggle this to on. Okay, then we'll see this manage option here and we'll also see this new shipping and payments option on the sidebar. So in this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and restrict um, shipping from a specific state. Okay, so let's just go ahead and click manage here. I'm gonna open this in a new tab. And then from here, we wanna to navigate to where it says shipping countries. And then I'm gonna add a new shipping restriction. Okay, and then you can give this a description. So in the case you've got multiple um, different restriction running, it's helpful if you um, name it accordingly. So I'm just gonna name this one um, restrict. And then here where it says exclude countries, I'm gonna go ahead and select um, United States. And then where it says state slash region, I'm just gonna go ahead and select um, Alabama. I'm gonna add a notice message. So if a user do end up trying to check out, from Alabama, we'll just let's show a custom message. So in my case, I've just said, sorry, um, we do not ship to this state for legal reasons. You can go ahead and customize this to however you see fit. And if we leave everything like this, so if we hit save changes now, this rule will take into effect. Let's say if you sell various items on your store and you only wanna restrict if a user tries to purchase, let's say um, ammunition, for example, or um, batteries or something that's just not um, permitted to be shipped to that state, whether it's alcohol or whatever, then you, where it says conditions, you can go ahead and add a condition. So you can say um, categories, for example. So you can say to activate this rule, if a product is within, let's say, for example, your um, alcohol category, right? Um, I'm just selecting clothing here because I don't have an alcohol category. You just choose the restricted category in which you can't ship to a particular state. In your case, if you just want to restrict it completely, again, we'll just delete the condition and then we'll just hit um, save changes. And now when we go ahead and check out on the front end, we'll see whether this rule works or not. Okay, so here I am on my checkout page. I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh this page. Okay, so here my shipping address is set to um, America. And then let's go ahead and choose the state. Okay, so first let's, yeah, let's just choose um, Alabama, right? And then let's go ahead and try place an order. And then here we've got a notification message. So we've got two different notification messages. The first being our custom message, just letting users know that we're not able to ship to this particular state. And then the second is just, just because I didn't enter in a valid um, zip code. So this is how you'd create a restriction rule to prevent shipping to a particular state. You can set up multiple restriction rules. And again, as I showed as well, you can base it on um, different conditions. And that's how you add a shipping restriction by state in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.